Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising. Weekly tarot reading, September 2nd to September 8th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump uh, right into it. All right, so the first card, which stands for the topic, the, the very theme of your week here, we do have the Seven of Swords, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome. That is going to be the Magician. Furthermore, we do have the Star card, which is the positive aspect. And then the last one here for you, Cancer, is going to be the King of Pentacles, which stands for the guidance the Tower is offering to you guys. So uh, this, uh, this week, it does look like that... Um, you cancer are to how do i express it um you're to start i would say that way you're to start working for your own good all right or working or doing or performing for your own good which is going to be severely disliked but everybody by everybody around this reading usually that uh, the such a lineup usually points to people or situations that are basically leeching out skills and resources from you and finally throughout this week you know you are severing those um, those leaks i would say and redirecting those resources into a more productive or into your own personal agenda but before we go into that let's run the cards one more time Seven of Swords, it is the first one, which stands for the topic in the team. Then we do have the Magician, which represents the um, challenges that you need to overcome. Afterwards, we do have the Star card, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the King of Pentacles, which represents the Guidance. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so, uh, Seven of Swords, it is a card where you need to stand for your own personal rights. Okay. You need to show strong backbone, strong spine, storm your situations here and simply push toward your own funk fulcrum and toward your own agenda. When we do have Seven of Swords uh, in a prime topic or in the prime team of week or a month or a reading in general, usually it is, it is a sign that you are either underpaid or or you're either used by someone or by something. And this week or this period, which is the week right now, it is the time where you need to wake up, you know, sever those ties, ask for a refund or ask for your payment, you know, and just move on toward your own personal good. The accompanied card here, it is the uh, death card formation. It is a active neutrals that we do have. So with the death card, it is like, uh, well, basically this points that it is not way too late. You know, you haven't been used to a point of no return. And for that reason, 
you can definitely redirect your skills, attention, time, or you name it, your assets, I would say, you know, exactly in a direction that you do want to make improvement. For example, um, you are, let's say that you are uh, married, all right, and uh, your marriage isn't going on very well because your boss into your career demands your attention constantly upon a business matters. And in the same time, it's not raising your salary. No different than that. So it's time to stop working extra hours and unless your salary doesn't get raised and you redirect your assets, meaning your time, into your marriage so you can improve it. All right. It could be also that you are having a business partnership with someone and that someone is stealing money. You know, it's underpaying you. You are finding out instead of giving it a silent treatment, you stand for your personal rights. So the problem here, which is the challenges that you need to overcome, that is going to be the magician. So the magician points that it's going to be difficult for you to exert your sovereignty. It's going to be difficult for you, you know, to... Um, initiate a, a determined actions in, in in this specific situation in regards to your boss or in regards to your wife or your husband or it doesn't really matter so when you find out you know or when you recognize what is wrong and it's going to start eating you from within in the same time you know you are going to be reluctant also to speak about it which is the personal sovereignty or to do something about it. No different than, for example, you know, you, uh, in these kind of relationship, which are severely one sided, the um, <clears throat> undermined side secretly hopes that things are going to change on their own accord. They're not going to change on their own accord. This is the week where you have to make difference. You know, yeah, it's challenging, but you can do it. The accompanied card here, it is the Ace of Cups formation. It is the active neutrals that we do have. So with the Ace of Cups and the Magician here, um, it's it's that you, you, you need to start thinking of, uh, you know, what is going to make you happy. And although you may love the person, for example, that you are in a relationship with, if that relationship doesn't make you happy, well, the choice is obvious, at least to me. And it's simple, okay? So it's not about... Once again, what you what your emotions are, but it is about what you feel, okay? And uh, you can do it as well very quietly. I mean, that it doesn't have to be a very aggressive approach for you to walk away, I would say, from these. Um, it's not even abusive. I don't know how to classify those kind of uh, those kind of situations. It's misfortunate situations, probably, okay? Where... Um, <clears throat> where someone is pulling a lot of benefits on your own account. It's it's not a good thing at all. So you can definitely make a difference here. Uh, cancer, it's just, once again, you know, you need to raise your voice about it. The uh, positive aspect, it is the star card. So uh, once you do so, now in this follow-up, this card is conditional and only when you raise your voice about it, only when you stand for yourself, it is when the star card manifests. And how does it manifest? Well, for, 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 uh, for one, it does point that this is going to be the end of the misfortune, or right? the end of the turmoil. For second, it does offers you a, a fulcrum, a, a long-term goal for you to look forward to. So <clears throat> you are going to very quickly understand that you should have done this earlier, all right? Additionally to that, it does offers you a unconditional support from faithful companions and unfolding love as well, especially if we're talking about new relationships here that may happen throughout this week. <clears throat> or if you are, for example, standing for your rights here and um, placing your demands in front of your wife or in front of your husband because the current state of the relationship isn't working out for you very well and they agree to that, well, then they're going to stick to the agreement. But the whole initiation is going to be difficult for you. The accompanied card here is going to be the Page of Cups formation. It is a active neutrals that we do have once again. <clears throat> So that is a very good combo here, which points that it is not that you need to adapt to the change, but the change needs to adapt to you. Meaning that once you stand for yourself, once you raise your voice about it, you know, once you exert your actions, 
which are supported with strong determination, these two cards point that you are going to be the master of the change, meaning that, you know, you can um, shape your future or at least your short-term future exactly the way you want to shape it. That being said, you know, you can put the directions and strings into your relationship, you can make demands into your career or into your social circle as well, which will allow you, you know, to structure your, your environment and your life exactly the way you want it. And the last one here, it is about the guidance that will be the King of Pentacles. So as a guide, guidance wise, the King of Pentacles urges you not to go for charity. What I mean here is that you need to give only if some, if someone, if that someone or that something gives you in return, right? You shouldn't, like I said, you shouldn't waste your time with extra working extra hours if you're not getting paid for it, okay? Or you shouldn't be kind with someone if that person isn't kind with you. You need to give exactly what you get from um, from a specific person or from a, a specific situation. I do believe that this week is going to be the week of lash out of a, a backlash. You're gonna do things that you have hold on into for a quite a long of time, you know, and you stack those things in, those negative emotions, those negative thoughts as well. And this this week you are, you're just simply going to burst out and it's it's quite normal. And people will understand, uh, people in situations as well are going to understand that you are a, a force to be reckoned with. And uh, the last one here, it is the Four of Swords, uh, the formation. It is a, a passive enemies that we do have here on our hand. And this combo here points that you shouldn't be swayed of your opinion. Once you understand, you know, that... Uh, you do not belong in such a position, you do not belong in such a place, for example, and you do deserve better, you shouldn't allow no one to talk you out of it. So that being said, uh, Cancer, this was your weekly tarot reading for September 2nd to September 8th, 2019. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.